Hello, hello, welcome back to the Snap-on Tri-County Tool Show. Back in Snap-on Tri-County's HQ for a new video and uh, a little look through our new heavy-duty uh, heavy duty flyer now. Before I start and you click off the video because you're automotive or small engine, just keep in mind that just because it says heavy-duty on the top does not mean there's a bunch of tools that you guys would be using as well. Uh, there's a lot of overlap in this flyer for a lot of guys that are looking for something, uh, even on the small engine side. Um, there's there's wire insertion tools, there's thermal imagers, there's a bunch of deals on cordless tools that you may be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So definitely stay tuned, look through the flyer. I'm going to be pointing out some hidden gems on each page. And uh, if you got any questions about anything in particular, just uh, just let me know in the comments below. So starting on the first page, I'm going to start on uh, the, probably my favorite item on the first two pages. Uh, not the most expensive item, which I know as a salesman, you may say, Joseph, what are you doing? Do you need your head checked? But uh, these new high definition imagers, which you can read a little bit about it there. My biggest and favorite part about this is the PIP part, which is the picture in picture. And you can kind of see it here where this kind of looks like a dead zone. That's actually showing the side wall of the imager so if you look at the end of the wand it's kind of hard to tell but there's an imager out front and then there's an imager on the side and that lot lets you see say the the top of your piston head and then also the cylinder wall as well so really handy if you're looking at two things at once trying to correlate what exactly is going on you got your wire insertion tools like i spoke about uh the articulating imager end which is pretty cool as well so this attached attaches onto your imager whichever one you have and then as you press this little knob your end will basically turn around on itself so if you're in say uh, a fuel tank or anything like that it allows you to see exactly what you need to you got your different thermal imagers like i spoke about another cool one if you have a smoke machine already uh this is a nice little adapter kit for uh for any turbo um any boost uh systems that you may be looking for leaks on and of course, the big daddy of them all, your ProLink Edge Diagnostic Work System. I am going to be doing a video on one of those folks. Not the full meal deal, but just the starter kit. We should be having that come in in a few weeks. We also have some heavy-duty impact wrenches. Talking about uh, our little, what we call the Stubzilla, uh, our half-inch drive stubby impact wrench. These are really handy and deceivingly powerful with 775 foot pounds of torque they're about half the size of our pt 850s or mg 725s um these guys are our mg 1250s by the way or three quarter inch gun before you look at the price and think oh crap there's a there's a mess up there these guys are heavy duty as well um you also got your half inch impact guns and this one is the only one on this full page that is composite as well so it's extremely light and extremely easy to get into tight spots and break those bolts loose uh, some more air tools on the other side one thing i do want to point out on this page these fittings are on sale we also have some other select fittings on deal as well so if you're a fan of our quarter inch fittings fantastic these guys and some other ones the high flow fittings have been very very popular in the area they're also on sale on my truck Next page, the big daddy of them all, our Tech Angle Precision Torque Wrench. Uh, if you have not seen the video yet on these, the progressive torque, which basically tells you as you get closer, yellow, green, stop torquing, or red, you over torqued. Uh, really, really handy for any engine work that you might be doing. Uh, and also torque angle. Um, if you're worried about going three times because you don't have the room to do one full swing for 90 degrees or 180 degrees, you don't have to worry about it. You can go quarter of the way, quarter of the way, quarter of the way, and then f your final torque, it'll still come up as your full 180 or 90, whatever you're doing. If you're more old school or just look looking at a tire torque wrench, this is a great option as well. And uh, one that they snuck in there that a lot of guys don't realize. And of course, all these prices are in Canadian. Do not shoot the messenger. Uh, so if you are looking on your franchise uh, franchisee's truck and its pricing is different, I apologize. But on my truck, we're able to get these guys for a really wicked deal. Get them while you can. 
And next page over, you got your different picks, which a lot of guys don't realize that these are the heavy duty picks. And what that means is they're about, I'd say about 10 inches long. Uh, really, really great. Yeah. So six inches of exposed pick and then your handle as well. So about 10 inches. They're not the regular picks. They're not your, your grandfather's picks. These are heavy, heavy duty stuff. So really handy if you're breaking regular picks or you just need some longer reach some half inch torque wrenches really uh, or sorry uh breaker bars this one's a cool one this is 36 inches long so it's not something i usually carry on the truck but when they come on sale which i'll tell you quite the wicked deal there i will be bringing quite a few of those in if you need one just uh send me a message next page we got some bigger pry bars along with your 10 inch straight blade uh, what i call the screwdriver saver back on sale from the introductory pricings some hammers, heavy duty combination pliers. Now these ones were released a few months ago. Uh, they re-engineered the cutters in these to make them a little bit higher leverage and really great pricing on those. So don't miss out on that. Some different reamers, what my customers love to call God's finger. Uh, it's a, basically a generic pry tool that can do anything from internal work. If you're working inside of a dash to engine work to if you're looking to pry a, a head off of an engine, you just need that little wiggle room that maybe a pry bar won't fit into. Great tool for that. And then on the next page, some fabrication station stuff. Uh, light it up. Uh, new design for our auto uh, darkening lighted welding helmets, which are really popular in the area. And if you're anything like me and you're always living in the dark, it's nice to have something that'll uh, shine some light on the situation. And then the cordless stuff, uh, of course, Monster Lithium cordless caulking gun, the grease gun, which I will say works fantastic. And they actually put in here works well in cold environments because of when grease gets cold, obviously it's harder to push out. It's always nice to have something that will give you a little bit more oomph. So fantastic on that. Um, blades, uh, these guys are uh, for your band sander, uh, belt sander. We do have a few of these in stock as well. And as you can tell, five pack of belts, it's not going to break the bank. And a lot of customers are happy with, of course, the 10 packs as well, um, depending on what grit you need. Grinders. Now, a lot of guys are asking, Joseph, what's the difference between these two guys? And it's the actual, um, I guess you call it the trigger for it, even though you neither really have a trigger. Uh, this guy actually has the paddle style, kind of like what an air tool would have, where you press the lever and then press on the actual trigger and allows it to turn on. This guy has more of a button um, on it, which is pretty handy as well. So obviously, depending on what, what application you're working on, um, they're both mainly the same size. Um, and of course, price is, uh, is accurate to whatever quality of tool you're looking for. As continuing on with the 18 volt tools. Um, if you're not familiar, these guys are on quite the clearance. Uh, not the uh, the inline die grinder, but the the uh, the drill. We do have the new brushless being released very very soon. If you didn't know about that, stay tuned. There's more to be said about that uh, in future videos. Uh, some different testing equipment, electrical and pressure testing equipment. The truck coolant refiller, I've had some questions about this one. So we've always had our Rad Kit Plus A, uh, R-A-D-K-I-T-P-L-U-S-A. Uh, this is the big heavy-duty version of it. Basically creates a bigger vacuum and obviously will hold it uh, while you're trying to pull all that coolant through the system. And the big thing is you get all your oversized adapters as well, which... Each one of those runs at about $100 a piece. So to get the whole kit for $562 is a steal. So stay tuned if you need one of those. Message me after. Sliding roll cart. Great for a diagnostic cart if you don't have one already. Or just some auxiliary uh, storage. Really great deal there. Uh, tool organizing wrench rings. If you work on a boat... I can guarantee you this is something you should have on the side of your work uh, work pail, work uh, bag, whatever, on your belt. Uh, put all your most expensive wrenches, which 
Uh, what you got to say is usually the snap-on wrench is on one of these guys and you are guaranteed, unless you go into the drink, uh, your wrenches aren't going to, you're going to be able to fish those out of wherever you are. Uh, a few other things, of course, we got to brighten your day, some different lights, uh, fantastic deal up top. This is the first time I've seen these on sale in quite a while, the five foot tool storage light bar. Uh, a lot of customers will use these inside of a hutch. I have a few guys who are using them inside the top drawer of their toolbox as well. So hook it up however you'd like. It comes with your magnetic switch. So when you open the drawer or open the hutch, the light will come on. Saves power and obviously uh, you're not lighting up the shop in the middle of the night, which is nice as well. Uh, wirelessly charging lights, which we actually have quite the uh, quite the display for now. We have our, our three-piece guy up here. We have the two-piece or the uh, the one with your uh, your convertible light, which is really handy. A few other lights, some calipers, and last but not least, you gotta have the safety glasses, the goggles, the the gloves, and of course, keep your hands nice and clean. Keep in mind that this is a case of twelve, so you're not paying one eighty nine or one eighty one for just one jug. You divide that over twelve, you're paying about uh what is it uh 15 dollars a uh, a jug for that really good deal cart mounted gas pressure washer water nozzles coming up to the end of the year this is the best deal you're gonna see till christmas probably and keep in mind uh stock is uh is available now so grab them while you can and speaking of uh of washing and cleaning uh parts washers are on sale so nice little flyer folks uh this is good until the end of october while supplies last obviously you grab the stuff early you won't have to worry about anything going out of stock before you need it and of course for everyone who's stuck around long enough in this video just a heads up a little sneak uh sneak peek of what's coming soon uh, I know everyone hates to talk about it before, even October, before Halloween, but uh, we have some fantastic uh, deals, prizes, giveaways, and coming up for Gnome Coming. So uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, again, thanks for tuning in to another Snap-on Tri-Counties Tools video. Have a great evening, afternoon, or morning.